I'm Armed, and in this video, I want to show you how to work with cloth in Blender to create this style of animation seamlessly. Let's dive straight into the video. To start and learn, I suggest implementing this technique on a simple object. I used a cube with a subdivision level of 5 and changed the mesh layout to a sphere. In edit mode, select all the object's meshes and create a vertex group in the object data section. Assign all the meshes to it. In the modifier tab, add a vertex weight proximity modifier. The vertex group we created here helps define the range of our meshes. Additionally, we need another object to use as a brush in weight paint. Change its display to wireframe for easier manipulation. To precisely define the area of the meshes that will change, switch to weight paint. Now, back in the vertex weight proximity, set the proximity mode to geometry. Adjust the lowest and highest values to define the range precisely. Next, let's give the brush object a simple motion. Reduce the frame count and enable auto keyframe. Then create the object's motion. Now, in weight paint mode, you can see the final result. Moving on to simulation, add cloth. Set the vertex mass value higher for a stiffer object. I set mine to 5. Activate pressure and set its value to 20. Under the shape section, add the vertex group mentioned earlier in the video. Set the shrinking factor value to minus 0.5. Finally, set gravity to 0. Now, play the timeline and observe the result. To reduce lag, after smoothing the meshes, Specify the start and end frames in the cache section, then click Bake. The next step is to replace the original object with one with higher detail. Simply select the new object first, then the old one, and click Copy Modifiers via the link window by pressing Ctrl L. All changes made to the previous simple object are now applied to the new one. However, there is still an issue, the meshes lack a vertex group. Therefore, without changing the modifiers, go to object data and create a vertex group. You can see the result after baking. Yet there's still an issue, the meshes have incorrect arrangements. Adding subdivision can solve this problem. Now, play the timeline. Let's move on to textures. First, let's use the simplest method, which is geometry nodes, to use weight paint in texture alteration. Create two values through capture attribute. The input value is the same as the vertex group. And for the output, right weight.
In the shader editor panel, create a primary texture. Adding a mix shader is necessary since we need two for motion. Connect the primary texture to one of the shaders. Then, create the desired material and connect it to the second shader. Now, to synchronize animation with weight paint, create a color ramp, connect it to fac in the mix shader. Then, create attribute, connect color to fac. In the name section, write the name of the created attribute in geometry, which we chose as weight. Now, play the timeline. I hope you achieved the desired result. To hide the brush object in Render, deactivate the options I'm showing you in Visibility. Do you want a sneak peek at the magic behind my projects? Join my Patreon community today. It's not just about supporting my work. You're unlocking a whole new level of engagement. Make sure to drop by my Discord. It's a great space to learn, share, and grow together. Can't wait to see you there. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And please leave your comments below. Looking forward to seeing you.